students in this video i am going to give answer to the test yourself question based upon percent yield see here 8 mole of a is reacting with 20 mole of b and forming a to b3 here we have to calculate how many moles of a to b3 is forming if 8 mole is reacting with 20 moles, how many moles of A to B3 is forming? And here percentage of yield is already given that is 75%. First write the reaction. A plus B gives rise to A to B3 according to the question. Later what I told you just to balance this. How many A's are there here? 2 and B3. This is a stoichiometric coefficient. Write the stoichiometric coefficient. What is that? 2, 3 and here it is 1. What is the ne next number of moles given in question? 8 moles and this is how many moles students? 20 moles of B and A, A to B3 we have to find. We have to find. Clear? Now, what is the trick I told you to calculate limiting reagent? Just take the ratio of number of moles by stoichiometric coefficient. If you want to calculate, if you want to know complete information about limiting reagent, I already uploaded a video on limiting reagent. Please go through playlist of mole concept. Number of moles is what? 8 divided by stoichiometric coefficient is 2. How much you will get? 4. Here 20 divided by 3. How much? 6.33. In these two, which is the lowest number? That is limiting reagent. This is a way to calculate limiting reagent. So, A is the limiting reagent. So, we have to take the relation between only A and the product not with the B. Because B is not, it is present in excess. So, that we have to take from A. From this, we can say that 2 moles of A is forming 1 mole of B. 2 mole of A is forming 1 mole of B. Then uh, 1 mole of A to B3. Then how many moles is given in question? 8 moles. 8 moles forms how much? 8 mole form how much? Just do cross multiplication. Then we get 4 mole. How many moles? 4 mole. Clear? This 4 mole is what? This is the number of moles of product which is Calculated one or you can say this is calculated yield of product or we can say this is a theoretical yield. Understand students what is this? This is a theoretical yield. What is our formula? Our formula is percent yield equal to percent yield equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield yield of product into 100. What is the actual yield? We have to find the actual yield. Let us say x. And actual yield means how many moles of product we are getting. This is theoretical yield. How many moles of theoretical yield from a balanced reaction? 4 into 100. This is percent yield. How much is given in the question? 75%. Substitute that. Then x equal to 75 into 4 by 100. That's it. This is your answer. So, what is your answer? 25 and 3. Actual yield is 3 moles. We expected 4 moles from the main reaction, but we got 3 moles. This is the answer. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.